tiny mix amoebae of the cellular slime mould, Dictostelium. When food is plentiful, the mix amoebae are completely independent as they feed and multiply. When their food supply dwindles, their behaviour changes remarkably. When they become crowded, they start moving together from all directions, flowing into growing masses containing thousands of cells. Aggregation starts when one cell spontaneously secretes a pulse of a hormone called cyclic AMP. Nearby cells respond by moving towards the hormone and by emitting their own pulse. Soon this response becomes widespread and synchronized, creating waves of accelerated movement passing through the migrating cells. These mix amoebae are streaming steadily towards a distant aggregation centre. As always, there are a few stragglers rushing to catch up. The aggregations of cells round up and then each turns into a slug called a pseudoplasmodium. These slugs are active, searching the terrain for a suitable place to settle and leaving a trail of slime as they go. Remember that each slug consists of thousands of free-living amoebae which now have organised themselves into a cohesive unit and which synchronise their activity. During its travels, an individual slug may fuse with other slugs it happens to encounter. Meanwhile, a few individual mix amoebae are still visible, moving round on the surface. After this migratory activity, the slug rounds up again. But this time, it flattens onto the surface and then grows a thin stalk with a fruiting body on the tip. Throughout these manoeuvres, the mix amoebae remain separate individuals. During this final phase of reproductive activity, the behaviour and fate of each cell continues to be subordinate to a self-generated pattern. The mix amoebae in different parts of the pseudoplasmodium differentiate into three main types of cells with different functions. Some cells form the base and others the stalk, while the rest migrate up the stalk and turn into spores in the fruiting body. The mature spores are later released. <laughs>